My name is Nick Benedict. I've been painting houses for 25 years. The first 25 years of my working life, I was an actor, and I was lucky enough to become a soap opera star. I guess you could say my claim to fame was that I played Erica's second husband on all my children. But eventually I got killed off. Then I went on The Young and the Restless and Victor Newman killed me. Then I went on Days of Our Lives and Stefano Mare killed me. In fact, I got killed off so many times I decided to take up a new career. Painting houses. This is the mountain town of Tehachapi, California. It's a great place to live and I've been blessed as a painter here. So far, no one's killed me off as a painter. My goal? To help people in this tough economy who are struggling to survive. Some of the people on my paint crew are also in my rock band. Nick, 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 Nick. I'm Nick the painter. Hey. All right, so what do you got for me? This is Pepsi. Pepsi? Pepsi. You, this is like a really old house, it's isn't it? It's a really old house. It's actually a historical landmark. Oh, it is? Oh, yes. OK. It, it, and it's, it's actually um, across from the museum. Oh, that's where all the tourists go. Exactly. Yeah. All right, I'm on my way. All right, good luck. Thanks. Uh, you're Mr. Pepsi? Yeah, I've seen you before. You're Nick the Painter. I am Nick the Painter, and I came to paint your house. Tell me something. How long has it been since you've painted this house? Oh, 25, 30 years. <laughs> I've seen the house. It's peeling like hell. Pepsi's a nice old guy. He needs my help. I'm trying to give back to the community that's been so good to me. We're going to help him out. I'm going to get my guys out there tomorrow, and we're going to go to town on that one. Okay, pilgrims, what we're going to do here is we're going to paint this house hard. We're going to paint it fast. We're going to attack this house. There's one thing I want you boys to remember and say to yourself the whole time you're painting, and that's shut up and keep painting. Angelo, I want you to work with fingers on the railings. And put your shirt on, will you? Will you look professional? Yeah, I got you, Pops. Anytime I get anything high, I send the chief. Say hi to the chief. Like always, he gives the easy work to his son. Uh, he made me get up on the roof right over here and just start priming away. Little did he know, little did I know, that there were gonna be bees. You got hornets up there? You see any hornets, paint them. I got stung at least three times. Yes. Good job, chief. Thanks, Bob. Chief. Big Bear. Yeah. Yeah, hey, when you're done with get, priming this side, I want you to come around to the front and I'm gonna have you prime all the tall stuff since you're six foot eight. All right, boss. All right, Big Bear, and watch yourself on that ladder. All right, I will. You know what, you're not supposed to stand on the top of a ladder because it's a safety loop rule, dumb dumb. I love my guys, but sometimes they're just a pain in the ass to work with. I like the crew. We get work done. We get work done fast, actually. And uh, but there's one in particular. I don't really like that little guy, Squeaky. At the job, I guess I'm called Squeaky for some reason. I don't know. First time I met Squeaky, it was the first day on the job, and the boss took us to Primos, and Squeaky was digging through the trash. It was really, really weird where we found him. He was in a dumpster with no socks, rummaging for a sandwich. Nick said, hey, you looking for work? And he said, yeah, oh, squeaky. That's why he's squeaky. That's the real story. My real name is Carl Sola, but everybody calls me Pepsi. I will not answer to Carl Sola. I think because of my last name, Sola, and it was a little kid, it ran with cola, and so they just started calling me Pepsi, and that's what they've been calling me ever since. We even got Pepsi working here. Nick the painter said he wanted to do it because this is a corner house and it needed painting very, very, very bad. 
It was built in the 1880s by the McFarland family. And I think the location helped a lot too because it is a very busy corner, almost right downtown. And I'm very fortunate to get it, I think. The crew's got the, the gig tonight. So uh, I'm not gonna be able to to actually go to that. I got a I got a recording session I'm doing down in Bakersfield. I trained Angelo to be a drummer for years. I kind of hoped that he'd follow in my footsteps, but he seems to be into this rap thing. Yeah, your mother told me something about that you want to be a rapper now. I've been wanting to be a rapper for a while, actually. Angela, I trained you how to be a drummer since you were nine years old. All of a sudden, you want to be a rapper? Well, you know, actually, yeah, you trained me to be a drummer because you wanted me to be a drummer. But at this point, I don't want to be a drummer. Angelo, that music has got the F word in every other word. No, You're going to run around with trashy no, people. No, I don't want you running around with those kind of people. That's not even what it is. What at, is it? At this point, I what? feel like it's you. You're being selfish because I'm not doing what you want me to do. Angelo, I don't want you being around those kind of people, okay? Yeah, you don't want me to. Those are my friends. Those are people I've known for a long time. You know, these are not bad people by any means. All right, so you're not coming into my show? No, Pops. You know what? I'll see you later. I'll catch you later. Damn kid. Hey, everybody. Welcome. Thanks for coming out tonight. Let me introduce you to Nick the Painter. <laughs> My name is Nick Benedict. Uh, I'm known in this town as Nick the Painter. I kind of wish my son Angelo was there, but our gig went really well and the manager liked us and I think he'll have us back. The house is water blasted, it's primed, it's scraped, it's ready. And I'm gonna start putting the paint on. It's the most exciting part for me because that's when you start seeing the results. One good thing about spraying is, it goes quick. I'm a gunfighter. <laughs> Roger got here today, our, our uh, last crew member, to complete our crew. But it really doesn't make much of a difference because he doesn't do anything at all. Jalal, what's up? How much, you know, just painting like I always do. And then he comes around, you know, and points out stuff that we haven't got to yet. Yeah, you know, the crew here is really great, but, you know, there's a, once in a while you gotta just point a few things out, make sure it gets done right. Yeah, it looks pretty good. So you're missing a few little spots on that. Oh, yeah? He sat under the tree in the shade, told me what to do, hasn't had a paintbrush in his hand all day, not a grinder, not a chipper. He doesn't have any paint on his outfit, you know, it's just crisp and clean. And I, while I respect that as a fashion liaison that I am, you know, still, it's bull Man, you got so much paint on you. Is that war paint? Uh, first thing he says to me, your clothes are kind of messy. And I just take another look at him, and the guy has got not one speck of uh, paint on him. That ain't the last coat, is it? You're going to put another coat or two on there, aren't you? Well, I know he means well and all, but I just didn't like his attitude because he doesn't have one drop of paint on his clothes at all. I usually catch stuff that maybe other people wouldn't. Well, Pepsi, I still got my guys. They're just finishing up. Now, we scraped the house. We water blasted the house. We sanded the house. We've trimmed the house. And we've done all your siding. I did a little uh, special thing there in your little triangle up on top. And on the other side, too. And I put 100% acrylic paint on your house. And this paint job is going to last you a good long time, and I hope the city council doesn't bug you. <laughs> they ought to be happy. I think everybody will be happy, and I think people going to the museum over here will be happy, and everybody walking their dogs in the morning will be happy. Well, Pepsi, I hope my boys weren't too vile for you. Hey, those guys were all right. They're fun. They're fun? <laughs> well, they are a bunch of characters. I want to thank you, Nick. 
It's cool. It looks good. The city's going to like it. The people's going to like it. It's beautiful. And I'm going to tell everybody who did it. I get a recommendation? Yes. Thanks, Pepsi. Every time I drive by here, I'm going to tell everybody I painted this house. You painted this house. All right, right Pepsi, you take care, buddy. Say Nick did it. All right. All right, Nick. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Well, this job's over and I feel great about it. I thought I'd go home and relax. The only thing is, Adrian just called me and she's got another one for me. So I guess I'll just jump on my motorcycle and head over to City Slickers and start all over. <laughs>